Hey everyone, what's up? This is Marcos with Future Studio University. In this video, we will go back to our list of tasks and skip a specific task in our list of sequential tasks. So in the last video, we stopped at this specific list of tasks. We use Lister to execute a sequential list of tasks which can run asynchronous operations. So in this video, I want to show you how to skip a specific task. And for that, I will just duplicate the boarding passengers task and add a new one like add extra snacks for the trip. And over here, we can just use the wait a second method because it will indicate that we execute the task like just wait a second. And what's more important is the skip function, which indicates if a task should be skipped, which will mean like true. So if you want to skip a function, return a truthy value. And if you want to execute this function, you should return a falsy value. And the falsy value means you do not skip the function. So let's explicitly return false. You can also like compare values and well, for us, it's more important to get the grasp on how to skip it. So remember it's a function and you not want to skip it. Well, in our case, we want to skip it. So let's use true and go over to a term and I can show you how it looks like when skipping a task. So let's just start the command line and it's a run task. I will just clear the command line again. Let's go over here and paste it in. And there you can see adding the extra snacks is skipped for the trip. And you can see that there's a little message that the task is skipped and it will not be executed. You can see this little yellow arrow that it indicates, well, I just skipped this task. And it's a nice little feature of Lister that allows you to skip specific tasks in a task run if you don't want to execute it. So in the next video, I will show you how to enable or disable a specific task. If you don't want it to show up in the list of tasks, we can disable a specific task. So see you there.